So I've never tried this before, but the Harbor Freight Wire that's in the flux core welder is meant for like mild steel. And I got two pieces of aluminum that I cut. And I kind of want to see what happens. I know it won't weld properly and I know it won't make a connection, but I kind of want to see what happens when you try to weld aluminum. There'll probably be a lot of smoke because aluminum puts out a lot of smoke. Try not to breathe that stuff because it's dangerous and I wouldn't recommend trying this at home. But let's see what happens. Alrighty. Do a lap. Um, yeah, lap joint. Oh shit. Turn the wire feed speed up dangerously high. Here, cracking all that weld, it'll probably just fall off when then it finally cools off. Um, thing about aluminum is, um, unlike steel, it doesn't have um, a visible heat effective zone usually, so you won't see that it's hot. But I can guarantee you that it's pretty hot because I know that aluminum melts for welding about 1500 degrees at the weld pool. And mill scale welds at like 30 aluminum mil aluminum mill scale well, uh, melts at 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. So I can guarantee you that that plate's probably a couple hundred degrees hot right now because it cools off very rapidly. That's a key characteristic of aluminum. But let's see what we got. Uh, all right, so I got some. Uh, I like to call them dike cutters, other people call them lineman pliers. Um, I'm going to pick them up with that because I don't want to touch the aluminum because I don't want to touch that hot metal. I don't like burning my fingers too much. It happens a lot, but I don't like it. So let's see what happens when I try and pick it up. Oh, damn. That kind of that kind of melt through a lot if you uh, look at the bottom there. All that black stuff is uh, soot and other stuff that's kind of developed. Uh, the weld doesn't look too pretty. It's a Harbor Freight flux core welder, so it's never gonna look pretty because it's O uh, three O wire, and that's just way too small for anything that's not like automotive repair. Um, let's see if how easily. Yeah, see that didn't even fuse. Um, that stuff probably just, uh, yeah, it probably is just sitting there attached to some carbon mill scale or something. I bet I could, maybe not, but, yep, that's, um, so that's, uh, welding aluminum with a Harbor Freight 90 amp flex core welder. Um, as you can see, it's popping off, popping off little slag and other contaminants off the aluminum. If you want to weld aluminum, don't use a flux core welder. Use uh, some aluminum MIG wire with the uh, argon shielding gas, or use a uh, TIG welder, gas tungsten arc welder with the uh, argon shielding shielding gas because it's not going to fuse. It's not going to do anything but crack on you and make your aluminum look really ugly. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my videos, subscribe, rate, and comment. It really helps out. Thanks, have a great day.